My name's David. I'm 19 years old. My friends call me Dave. I'm a karate master. You might think this is just a white belt. Think again. It's an off-white. It's the highest you can achieve. I'm here today to pick one of my sidekicks. Someone who's got speed, agility, and power. Let's head out to the bus to see who my next sidekick may be. Old boyfriend oh, well. wore black. <laughs> it didn't go, go too well. Oh, good, good luck, luck, man! Yeah. You guys are man. Good luck. Hey, my arms are tentacles. And I hope he likes mustaches. Next. Like one uh, second. Ten like, seconds. Yeah. So what happened? What did you do on your date, Griffin? What was Man. he like? What was he like, dude? Why are you touching wow, everyone? Card. Don't touch me! I don't I roll like up. that. Oh, Check this luck. out. Oh, you guys might as well man. leave now. Oh. Good luck, you door-to-door -door salesman. <laughs> Dude, that door to door sales, baby girl. <laughs> man, I'm info, man. I got to download anything in town. If you don't believe me, check this out. Hey, cats. You guys stuck at your house like I am this spring break? You think this will be another boring one? Not this year. I went around town to find cool things to do while you're stuck at home. Let's go check it out. First stop on our list is the Coco Key Rotter Resort. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Coco Key is a 50,000 square foot water resort. No matter how cold it is outside, Coco Key has an 84 degree all day inside weather. Perfect weather for swimming and playing in the water. The water resort offers two giant slides, the Gator Gush and the Shark Slam. I spoke to Linda Murphy, the sales manager for Coco Key Water Resort, to see what special features this place offers. We are local as well as um, it's an 84 sunny day always in um, Coco Key Water Resort. It's a, an area where they can join a warm day on a snowy day. The general admission is $25 during the week, $35 on the weekends, but we are running a special 1995 um, spring break rate. Also located in Coco Key is their own arcade featuring games for the entire family. And when you're done playing the games and swimming, they also offer their own restaurants. Wow, you guys, man, that was a blast. Let's go check out the next stop on our list. If you guys didn't have fun playing in the water, well, let's freeze it up. I'm here at the Lou and Gibb Reese Ice Arena to go play on the ice. Let's go inside and check it out. The ice Arena offers food, a pro shop, and fun for the entire family. This is a must-go for anyone. Public skating times run from Monday through Friday, 12 to 1.50 p.m., a special on Thursday from 3.30 to 4.50 p.m., Friday, 7 to 8.50 p.m., Saturday, 2 to 3.50 p.m., and also 7 to 8.50 p.m., and Sunday, 2 to 3.50 p.m. Admission is $4 for students and $5 for adults. Whew. Never thought I could have so much fun on ice. It's time to go warm up and check out our next spot. Here at our next stop, AMF Valley Lanes. Strike up some fun. Let's see what this place has to offer. To learn a little bit more, we spoke to Rita Resec, the general manager of AMF Valley Lanes. Prices are usually per person per game, and it varies depending on what time of the day that you come in. Uh, during spring break, we'll be running a Kids Extreme on Monday of that week from 3 to 5 o'clock, and that is $5 per child, includes your shoes, all you can bowl for two hours. Um, another good deal is Friday night, Friday night Extreme Bowl with the disco lights. Um, goes from 11 p.m. until 2 a.m., that's $12 per person, all you can bowl in three hours, and includes your shoes. When you're done bowling, they also offer three pool tables for only a dollar a game, and also many arcade games for the entire family to play. And when you're feeling a little bit hungry, they also offer their own personal snack bar, ranging from pizzas to giant pretzels. Wow, that sure was fun. I gotta take these shoes off real quick so we can run over to our next place. I'm here at our next stop, Big League Baseball. Let's go inside and hit up some fun. We spoke to Larry Carrier, the owner of Big League Baseball, to find out just a little bit more about the place. There's $2 for a token, and a token is 20 pitches. 
The machines are automatic. Um, the general public can come in. You can view what's going on or you can participate. The $2, again, will give you 20 pitches. We have a, a sports shop, baseball, basketball, football, soccer. Well, that sure was a fun workout. Well, I'm ready to go relax my muscles at our final stop. And for our last stop, there's no better way than to end the day doing some shopping and maybe catch a movie here at Indian Mound Mall. Well, that sure was a great movie. I'm glad to see that the rain has slowed down now. Well, I hope you guys try some of my ideas during spring break. Have a great spring break. I'm Cody Paxton with WNN. Back to you. Next. Oh! 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 It wasn't even worth it. <laughs> What do he look like? Yeah. How was his abs? They were alright, actually. Did you even hear that kid talk? <laughs> that kid was weird. He scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> Next. Oh, oh. 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 How do you feel about that? <laughs> you amused? Alright, who's up next? Guess it's my turn, guys. Mm. You better pack up your bags now. If you get now. next, just come back and... Mm. She was hot. I think she has an IQ of two. I'm MTV Girl, I'm 22, and if he needs a real sidekick, I'm the one. I've seen every real world five times. This is the true story about nine strangers. Forced to work together. In their very own broadcast station. With only brand new Macs and brand new cameras. And their own cable channel. To produce two quality shows. The start being real. So what? We've been in here like... Five months. Five months. And like, no one helps out. Nothing's changed. They're all slobs. And Joe's the biggest slob of all. And he brought a bunch of superhero costumes. They're just laying around everywhere. They're everywhere, and we're the only ones who clean up. And I'm the only girl in the class, so thank goodness I am him. Because we're the only ones who clean up, and everyone complains about us. Yeah, they're always saying we're attached, and we can't do anything without the other person. I don't, I have it no clue what they're talking about. It doesn't make any sense. No, and we have a show today. Yeah, and now we're going to have to go clean up. Aw, it's like your crap. Hey, where's Joe? Is he sleeping? What? Joe! Hey! Joe! Hey! What are you doing? Why are you helping? That's all your stuff on the ground out there. Did you drink all of this? It's It's not ridiculous. Yeah, come on. Come Stop. help us. Oh, you guys... Are you what? supposed to be You're watching the footage? Watching basketball? It's a state championship game. Thanks, Joe. You guys messed We're up a team. I don't care if it's my stuff. We're a team. I don't care if it's my stuff. And we're playing basketball. You know what? I'm sick of this. We have a show to do. I'm gonna go check on the cameras. Yeah. Hey, take the basketball so with you. Dude, you suck. You suck. Bring my shampoo. This is my shampoo. Hold on. Hey! 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 So take that with you with some pride, and let's go do a good show. Come on. Woo! I'm not Say this. Let's go do a good show. Hey, one of the cameras is gone. <laughs> it was you. You made my camera. Where's the camera, Eric? I can't take this. I'm done. I'm done. Johnny, wait. I'm going to the confessional. Control room. Griffin, you're hosting today. Who are you hosting? Yeah. Come on. Uh, Joe, you're going to be on weather. Uh, yeah. Control room, help me with cameras. Yes, sir. What? Eric! Eric, you magic devil, how'd you move the camera? I'm going to kill you. You're going to kill you. Kill you.
Today is March 27th, and this is your weekly roar. I'm Griffin Ottman. And I'm Corey Hegel. Time for some afternoon announcements. Attention, all college bound seniors, seniors who are athletes at Newark High School, you are in invited, invited, I know that, invited to apply for the third annual Newark High School Ath Athletic Hall of Fame school scholarship. Scholarship. I didn't ask for help. Scholarship applicants must have been a varsity athlete their senior year. How to commutative, commutative, commutative. No. Accumulative. That's the third time, man. Cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher through the first semester of this school year. And had. All right, enough with that announcement. Um, the cats did great this weekend. I'm getting too hot. Screw this. I'm done. Pie time. and I'm gonna go get a sandwich downstairs. Hope all of you had a great weekend. Um, spring break's coming right around the corner, so let's hope let's look to the west and see how their weather's going. Hopefully it'll come our way. Out west you can see that we have... Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, I'm sorry, we're having a chill. Did you take my pie? No, I don't have your pie. Where's my pie? No, 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 it's scary weather. No, where's my pie? Where's my pie? Where's, where's my pie? Who took my pie? Control room, where's my pie? A anyways. Wait, no, where's my pie? Anyways. Where's my pie? Uh, where's my pie? Where's my pie? Okay, can't do graphics, can't do anything, okay. Hey cats, it's Logan Van Wye, and I wear girls clothing. The cats won a state championship this past weekend, and I practiced the cha-cha. Greg Avery had 33 points, which was a career high, and the teleprompter's not moving, so I'm just gonna take this hockey stick and come in there and sometimes I pretend that I'm Batman and walk around the neighborhood in a Batman suit. The end of the season is finally come. And I think Eric is cool. I think it's George. I like what's going on. <laughs> we got him good, give me some. Yeah, give me some. You guys, Corey's stuck what? in the elevator. Come on, so? Who cares? <laughs> Whatever. Well. Wow. Corey, I really think you're stuck <laughs> in that elevator. Dude, this is perfect footage. Right? <laughs> perfect footage. Do it. I see your face. Come on, I really do think you're stuck in there, man. Hold on, let's try. Hold on. Press a button. Don't do that. It's not signaling. It knows it's stuck. Corey, no joke, you're locked in there. Dude, you're stuck in the elevator. Woo! Dude, we gotta call the police. Corey, isn't there a call button in there? What did he look. say about his holster clothes? They're really stuck? Yeah, look, I'll press the down. We're pressing up, hey, it won't go yeah, up. Look, I know, but it doesn't stay. It's, Watch. No, it's staying it's staying up down there. Look at this. <laughs> hey Corey. Hey, hey man. <laughs> it's thought it, maybe that might be This is an emergency. This is an emergency, dog. Emergency phone. We'll use it. <laughs> Yeah, be like, hey, I'm <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Alright, dude, nobody open your Don't worry, Corey, I'm calling your mom. It got stuck by itself. I can hit the alarm button. Do it. No, because then, oh, then there'll be an alarm. There's, you're not broadcasting? Uh, I'm, I, it's okay, I got some Corey, bad news. there for this reason, Corey. Griffin's here. It's okay. Corey's stuck in the elevator shaft. <laughs> <laughs> no, el in the elevator. Um. He went in the elevator and we tried to like stop the door from closing and it jammed and now he's stuck in the elevator. 
Teacher of the class, so it's legit. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> All right, well, we'll cancel the third part of that. All right, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Hey, mom, it's me. Uh, I'm calling from the confession room. We can uh, call our parents and just let them know how we're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I love you too. Um, I was stuck in an elevator today. No, no, I'm fine now. I'm out. Um, no, of course I wasn't scared. That's stupid. I'm never scared. Um, how are... Hey, so Corey, please? seriously. You've been on the phone for like two minutes. Are you kidding me? I have to call my mom. Uh, try two seconds. I have to call my mom. Get off the phone. Give me the... What are you doing? What are you doing? Do it. Do it. Tommy Jenkins. Hey, what's your superpower? Wait. This isn't basketball tryouts? Dude. <laughs> next. You may just be like, okay. he's a griffin. Oh, he's back. I may have been next, but I got, but I scored. He won. Oh. He won. Oh. 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 I scored. Looks like, looks like I'm next. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't think you're a real feet. Don't yeah. get eight I don't, out. I don't think you're a real feet. <laughs> What's up? My name's Kyle, and I know every restaurant in town, and every food. What's up guys? It's Kyle Smith here, and I recently took a journey to three different restaurants in Newark to see where you can dine at for this spring break. Please seat yourself and enjoy your helping of a nice big slice of Pizza Cottage. Opened in 1972 in Buckeye Lake, Pizza Cottage has spread to three different locations, and surprisingly one in Newark. Right when you walk in, you feel right at home with five plasma TVs and sports memorabilia. I talked to Ray Jenkins about the most popular pizza pie on the menu, and he had this to say. 
BLT pizza, which everybody just goes absolutely crazy for. It's, it's basically a BLT sandwich, uh, but made out of pizza. It's a, it's a fantastic pie if you haven't tried it. Wow, now that sounds pretty tasty. The next place that I visited on my journey is Starbucks Coffee. Though not very spacious, it is the first Starbucks within 20 minutes of Newark. Other than coffee, they offer a bakery section and a drink section. You can even buy a selection of coffee to take home and brew for yourself. And also, serve goodies for your coffee, including biscotti. Another thing they serve to the customers besides coffee is CDs. Starbucks drinks come in three different sizes, tall, grande, and vente. And if you're wondering what to try when you come here, just ask for a vanilla bean frappuccino. Trust me, you will like it. On my final stop in my three restaurant journey, I visited Roosters. There I talked to Stacia Hupp about their most popular food. I'd have to say the wings. Yes, most people do go there for the wings, but also Roosters comes equipped with a party room, a bar, and lots of TVs. When I talked to Jennifer Thomas, she told me why they selected Newark for a Roosters location. We selected this location, of course, because Newark being a great city and the people being great, and also to, um, you know, get locations out of Columbus so people could experience the Roosters experience. Well, I know where I'm going this spring break. That's all for me. I'm Kyle Smith. Back to you guys. Next! Oh, you don't you're like back. Guys. <laughs> you don't like Italian guys? Whatever. Who's up next? You have me! Have you have no accent. No me. accent. So? It really took a while, but I finally found a real sidekick. Oh. See you losers on the flip flop. Sidekick? Oh, yeah. I didn't know this was a dating show. Oh, a dating show? I didn't... Hey.